Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 56 in chapter 21. Chapter 21 is about electric charge and electric fields. There we know one electron. We can write down the fundamental charge at there. With initial speed v not right there and travel parallel to uniform electric fields. So we write down the electric fields. And we can also check the mass for the electron right there. And ask you how far will this electron travel before it stops. So keyword before it stops tell us the final speed is zero, right? We need to find the delta x. This is a combination about the electric field with the acceleration work. You can see if we put the electrons in electric field, the net force is electric force. Agree? Yes. So this is a charge times the electric force. It's electric uh, charge times electric field, electric force. And this electric force it equals to the mass times acceleration from Newton's second law, right? And then how much charge this electron carries? One negative fundamental charge. So we write it as negative E at zero. Okay. Now we can write down the function for acceleration A. Now you can see, you know initial speed, you know final speed, and you also know acceleration. Can you find the distance delta x? Uh, we can remember what we learned in chapter 3. We have this function, right? So we input the known quantity inside the final speed v equal to 0 and input the acceleration A inside. So you can write down the function for delta x. Input all the known given quantity, you get answer there. The next one tell you how much time will this electron return to its starting point. So it will return to its starting point. What is displacement it traveled? Zero. So we have delta x, right? Now, can you find the t? Yes. Still, very similarly, if we put the electron in electric field, net force is electric force equals the mass times acceleration. And the electric force equals to the charge times the electric field. This charge equal to negative E because electron carry one negative fundamental charge. So we can write the acceleration in this term. And also, can you find the final speed? Yes. And the final speed from this equation, you can see the delta x equal to zero. Therefore, we get the v equal to negative v naught because it returns back to starting point. So this v is with the opposite direction. Come. So this v is equal to initial speed but with the neg negative uh, direction, right? Then we can get the time function. We can say final speed, final uh, velocity equals to initial velocity plus acceleration times t and input the final velocity v as the negative v naught. Input the acceleration inside, you can get the t at zero. Thank you.